Good evening to us, Masters. Good evening. Or I should say good evening, my friends. I'm Jasper, and today um, I had a small change on my topic. I changed to talk about friendships. And um, first off, I want to ask you guys, uh, what is the definition of friendship? Maybe it's uh, during a cold winter and you have no one to go to and you have a sudden craving for a hot pot and you pull up on your um, your your phone and the one that goes out with you, that friendship. Or the one that, you know, just on the street and you recognize each other and you kind of just greet each other and ask them how you're good, I'm good, something like that is friendship. Another one is during your most hard, hard and difficult time, for instance, while well, you had surgery, uh, in the hospital, and the one that comes by to visit you, or the and the one that care about you and ask about what you're thinking after you try to get yourself back on the uh, the original life you had. That person. But first, let us share from the greatest people all your definition of pressure. So, um, definition of Benjamin Franklin, the family, one of the family fathers of the United States, also the one that draw the Constitution of the United States, he says that a true friend is the best physician. I really agree on that because who can say more than Benjamin Franklin? Is he's a guy on a cash, you know? He's a guy in the most valuable possession, which is the cash dollars in the world. And he said that friendship, friend is the most valuable possession. Or I agree on that. And next, let's hear from the greatest boxer, Muhammad Ali. I mean. When he's on the ring, you don't have any friends. But I mean, when he's off the ring, he's not kicking ass. He has a lot of friends in the uh, in the world, which look on to his uh, spirits. And um, his take on friendship is that friendship is the hardest thing in the world to explain. It's not something you learn in school, but if you haven't learned the meaning of friendship, you really haven't learned anything. Right? And I'm really great on this because I can say that I learned anything in school. In fact, the many the people that know me that know I'm not really, you know, had a high GPA, I got flunked regularly. But thankfully, in the school I learned this, I know how to make friends. So uh, my take, my personal take on friendship is that friendship is the result that you give unconditionally with your, all your heart. You give your energy, your caring. And when you give that um, to the people, our people, unconditionally, and the the result of contact, it is what we call friendship. So, what are the benefits of friendship? Friendship can increase your sense of belongings and purpose. For instance, full smash. Uh, I was a transfer student last year, and when I first came here, I don't have any friends. And I'm really worried that I might be alone throughout my college life. But that doesn't happen. It doesn't happen because I made my best decision in my college life, which is I joined Toastmaster immediately when I came here. And Toastmaster is, a, as you know, is a very worthy place. We accept each other's uniqueness, and we embrace each other's uh, different um, differences. And that's why this place that um, picked me in to be a part of the family of Toastmaster. So that's a true friendship that operates through belongings and uh, purpose. And then next is boost your happiness and reduce your stress, it goes without saying. And then improve your self-confidence and self-worth. That's I would want to thank the one that, that was here and the one that joined the demo meeting in September. Because at that time I still with on my conscience, I that time I cannot walk. But I remember I whenever I get the microphone and I walk on the stage, the audience uh, on the audience all gave, gave me the warmest and biggest applause. But all I did was just walking on stage, I mean, I mean, very slowly, you know, with the crutches. I just a guy that walked slowly on the stage, but the audience that day gave me the biggest support and gave me self confidence in my self worth. Because at that time, um, I'm really worried about the look, because I was on the plastic boots and my crutches. I, I would think that that, may, that might be a really persuasive book for me to try to tell each other, to tell the new members to come to join um, our uh, community postmaster. Because I'm a guy had a really serious um, perfectionism. So at that time, I feel like I'm not perfect. I'm not charming enough. But that doesn't matter. People that they give me the biggest support. So I will call them my friends. And uh, next is help you cope with traumas. 
such as divorce, serious illness, job loss, or death for loved ones. That's something you cannot escape. Uh, I mean, while well, divorce, it can have a 50 to 50 percent chance to avoid it, I mean, according to the stats of Taoist household you know, department. So, I mean, when you're on your rock bottom, the one that pulls you back on your feet, who will be that? That is your friend. That is you guys. All right, so move on. So, um, I want to talk about the first day. I was checking in the Kaohsiung Changdeng University uh, Hospital. And then, um, uh, most of my friends uh, wondered uh, why I can make friends in the hospital. <laughs> and it's, it's a funny story because they are the interns. Nurses, and when the day I checked in, it was the second last day of the training process. The second last day. So, and the honorable lady, like in my, in my left hand side, she's a really, she's a chief of the she's a trainer for these training trainings nurses. And every morning, I even have I don't even didn't get my enough sleep yet. They were up here on my room, and and the dudes asked me how how do I do, and then um, at first I feel kind of annoyed because they are basically practicing. Of my foot, you know, <laughs> they're changing the, you know, the other, you know, cover or the bandage of my foot, and I'm not sure if they are professional enough. But then throughout the days, they are like truly care about me. That makes me um, get over with a hard time with their with their companion. And next is my guy Thomas, but he seems like preoccupied with some other stuff, more way more important than my foot. I mean, but I love him anyway. And now um, next. Uh, so Smasher, I've got a special thanks to to my guy Leo. That is the first day I came back from the hospital to China. And that day, that that time I broke my own record. At that time I had a I had older Uber Eats for 10 straight days. And I all I do is pile up the eat finished lunchbox and pour it on my room. And that's the first meal I get to first formal meal I get to have. And you see that brought me out, asked me simply asked me out for a meal, and that's I'm forever grateful, and that's my guy, uh, Eric. He brought me, he beat my scooter, I moved me around, and I was, can I ride my own bicycle and love you? And last but not least is Toastmaster Big Family. It's a place to step to me, and it's a place to talk to what is the true uh, meaning of friendship. And this is also all of you, my friend. Thank you.